In this video, I want to show you how to use data validation lists with the indirect function. I have an example here where I have three hospital trusts, Newcastle, Northumbria and Bradford. I have named those three trusts. I have a list there called Newcastle and a list in these three cells called Northumbria and these two cells called Bradford. In this cell I have data validation looking at the trusts, the name range trusts. In this cell I have data validation using the indirect function to only show me the hospitals for that trust so in this case, Northumbria is selected. So the indirect function will only show me the trusts for Northumbria, which is these three. If I select Newcastle, now it will only show me the two trusts or the two hospitals in Newcastle. Now the indirect function works like this. There's a cell A5. If I select A6, the indirect function looks at A6, what it says there, and returns whatever is in A6, in this case, cabbage. Cabbage. So the indirect function in this cell will look at that word and return this list because it's a named range. If I change that, to Northumbria, the indirect function in here looks at Northumbria, which is another named range, this list, and will only display those hospitals. And that's the indirect function with data validation.